Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan here. Welcome to another game update for April the 4th. Uh, a few new games have been added that I uh, haven't mentioned before. Uh, like usual, I'll go through them. Um, first up, for those of you who do not check my list like often, and you, don't, you are unaware about this, but if you'd prefer to see what I'm doing more often to get more in-depth, there's a complete list, for those of you who do not know about this, there's a list on my channel, in the channel description, under, um, it's, it's my, my projects, It'll, there'll be a completed projects where all my, um, everything I've done, whether it be a playthrough, a DLC, a multiplayer segment, anything of that nature will be listed there, and underneath that will be a list of upcoming projects, meaning uh, games that will be coming up that are not yet released, or whatever the case may be, and I will be covering them when they do. That's all that that is, so if you're, if you're wondering if I'm going to do a game, you can go look at that list. Other than otherwise, you can keep watching these game updates, and uh, you'll be filled in basically. So, uh, first off, first game that's been added, uh, the very first game that I, I didn't mention was Dead Island. I'm going to be doing Dead Island. I, there's not a re solid release date yet. All that it, we only know that it's probably going to be in fourth quarter sometime, if at all. It might even be in early 2012, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fourth quarter, like something like November or. Except October, something like that. I don't know yet. No one really knows. So there's Dead Island. Now there's been a bit of controversy with that because a lot of people have seen the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, it's pretty emotional for people. Like it's pretty, you know, makes you feel, damn man, that's a really a moving trailer. Like in a bad way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the Dead Island trailer. It'll really, you'll have a complete different outlook. And one guy actually asked me. He said, Dan, are you really going to be doing Dead Island? I'm like, well, if it looks good and it's, wor you know, it's worth checking out and up hype, uh, yes, of course I'll be doing it. It's what I do. So, and he was upset with the fact be that I was considering doing it because the trailer was so wrong, let's just say. It was so wrong that he was like, I can't believe you're doing it. No one should play that game. Well, sometimes games are masterpieces like that, and they want you to have those feelings. You know what I mean? No, you rarely get a game that really reaches out to the person like that and then you really feel for the characters and I think with that trailer people are going to feel for these characters a lot more and it is a zombie game and you're probably wondering how can a zombie game be you know uh, a moving it's usually just mindless killing of the undead <laughs> so that should be interesting to see that's why I want to do Dead Island it catches your eye with you know a whole new type of zombie game like one that could really make you feel in touch with your characters because in many zombie games that you guys have played and I've played, one guy dies, like, gruesomely, and, like, no one really cares. Like, honestly, no one gives a shit because it's just some random nobody, and you know they're going to die anyway. So, this should be interesting to be when the Dead Island, uh, when Dead Island comes out, I'll, I want to check that out and see if it's, you know, worth the hype. So, that's the first game. Second game's kind of a no-brainer. Um, it, it, it's going to be uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, it has been announced for November, sometime in November. They don't have a solid release date. But uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is going to be getting done. Obviously, they release a new Call of Duty every year. This one is once again by Infinity Ward. Now, I found this kind of odd because I thought Infinity Ward had that little problem where they fired like all their lead designers or something. I don't know if that was settled or what happened with that. But apparently, they had, they've had they been making an, a new game, so they must have had it solved. So, But that was back in 2009 when... Uh, when uh, Modern Warfare 2 come, came out, that happened like a month after the release or something like that. It was ridiculous. It was like immediately after the release of Modern Warfare 2. These guys got fired. Things happened. And well, I don't know. It just didn't work out well. So Modern Warfare 3, hopefully it's not as cheap as the Modern Warfare 2 was. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 was great for campaign. It was great for uh, multiplayer. But eventually the multiplayer got kind of annoying and people would use like would try and beat the system, you know what I mean? Like, it, they would, uh, you know, kill boosting, spawn camping, ridiculous, like, noob tubing, things like that, unfair advantages that just made the game, that like, no one wanted to play the game, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that, but I will be doing it nonetheless. <clears throat> and thirdly, actually, the, yeah, there's only three games that I'm really adding to my list. Actually, you guys are probably going to be a little surprised to hear me say this, but at the same time, maybe not. I'll be covering uh, the new WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2012 <clears throat> when it releases. They usually release their games in September, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, you're probably going to be like, Dan, why the hell are you going to do that? Well, I've played SmackDown vs. Raw 07, 
08 and 09. 07 being one of the best SmackDown vs. Raw games I've ever played. I don't know, they just had it right. The storyline was just amazing. It was nice and long, and it was different for every superstar that you picked. Um, 08 sucked major ass. They changed everything. They made it stupider than shit. So I barely played 08. 09 I played, they made a difference. And I hadn't played 10 or 11. But, um, maybe I should. But, I don't know. Well, I, I want to do 2012 because I've been looking at these WWE games and I originally why I would have done 2011 when it first came out. People ask me, hey Dan, are you going to do SmackDown vs. Raw 2011? And I said no because uh, WWE would block um, the WWE, anything WWE related. It was just like terrible. Like anything you put up, they'd block. So, but I found out later that it. Th I found out now that they don't do that anymore. They do, they block um, live footage. So, like, say you put up a classic match between whoever, and it's like owned by that's owned by the WWE, and they they'd rather make some money off it than you use it for free. So, that's the only thing. So they don't mind video games. They're okay with video games because it's your own experience, right? Like how like a, what I'll be doing for that is definitely I always make my my custom wrestler. Um, I always make my custom entrance. I always make my custom move set. <laughs> the first like three or f I don't know, maybe like five parts are gonna be just me creating shit, and then I'll probably have people you know I'll I'll, I'll say in the video skip a few parts ahead if you don't want to see me create these things and you just want to get straight to the matches then you can skip to whatever part it may be. So, um, but I I love creating my wrestler and it's funny because for the first for all three for oh seven oh eight and oh nine. I made my character look exactly the same, and the only thing I changed was the color of the outfit that I picked for him. But ring music, pretty much everything looked the same. It was just hilarious, man. So, just can't wait to. I love the creating. I, I love creating things like that. So, creating an entrance, a move set, and the wrestler himself would be is real, one of my some of my favorite, you know, aspects of wrestling games. So that's that. All right, guys. Before we wrap it up here, I, I hope you guys have watched this all the way to, till now, and I hope. You actually clicked on this video because if you didn't, you're going to be well. I have a surprise for you guys. Uh, starting tomorrow, I will be doing a surprise playthrough, and I'm not telling you what it is. What it? I'm not going to reveal anything. All it is is you're going to see this this the footage tomorrow. It's going to be a complete surprise. And the reason I'm doing this is because well, April there's a huge gap between now and the 18th, when, which is when the Gears of War 3 beta comes out, and then it's Portal 2 and SOCOM 4. But that's too much time. It's the 4th today, and uh, and I want to do more, because I can't just do... I can't do uh, Blu-ray Day and Ask Dan Q for all those months. I need something to throw in for you guys. So I strongly recommend you guys check in tomorrow. Uh, Probably more like the evening, like usual, because I'll be getting, I'll be starting it tomorrow, and then upload towards the evening, you know, like I normally do. So keep an eye out for my my channel, because I'm pretty sure you guys will uh, want to watch. So I'm not gonna say anything more. Surprise playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy it. I uh, can't wait to get to to do it myself, but uh, we'll see how it goes from there. So recap: um, Dead Island has been added. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, uh, SmackDown vs. Rock 2012, and the surprise play playthrough starting tomorrow. So, I hope you guys stay tuned for that, because I know you guys will... I, I, well, I'm not going to say anything revealing anything, so just stay tuned for tomorrow. I recommend you do. So, thanks for watching, guys, for this another game update for April the 4th. Uh, thanks for watching, like, again, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the surprise playthrough. Alright, guys, see you later.